My name is Gary. I'm from Dundee, um, and I'm a photographer. The project I'm working on at the moment is um, I'm taking photos um, to document my dad's work of tattoos that he did from the start of his career in 1977 to when he passed away in 2006. So the idea started really, it was my, my friend that works on building sites and he would send me pictures um, from guys that he met on site um, and he would tell me, you know, your dad did this one in, in 1977 um, and I thought it was really cool. One of the photos that Ross sent to me um, was a guy that had, um, he had, he had like an octopus on his arm. And it was really cool, it was really colourful. I said, you got his number, can I speak to him? And uh, he said, oh, he had, he, he had a stroke um, and he passed away. It's sad that, you know, the, the guy passed away first and foremost, but obviously as well, the tattoo kind of went with him. I think that's why it's important to, to document these things because somebody might want to see those tattoos again. My dad was, um, was a character. He was always in the pubs. Everyone liked him. He was a very popular man, yeah. He bought a machine from another guy um, that lived in the same scheme as him, and he started tattooing on my grand's back shed. And it was mostly just his mates. They used to come in, um, and they'd sit in my grand's living room. It was like a waiting room. And my, grand, my grand used to give them tea and biscuits and stuff like that while they were waiting to get tattooed. He got his first shop, I think, in 1980. Yeah, he would have had thousands of clients over the years. His books were pretty much always full, um, that I remember. So he passed away in February 2006, um, when I was 15. Yeah, it was rough. Um, I was really close to my dad, well, my brother and my sister as well. I, I was 15, I was just kind of getting to know my dad um, as a person, more so than being my dad. Um, but we were really close, he was, he, was, he was more like my friend in a lot of ways, eh? Um, so when he died, it was, it was like losing my dad and losing my pal at the same time. So I was going through some old boxes of my dad's things um, and I found this 35mm camera. And I'd already had the idea to start taking photos of, of, of people's tattoos. So, so I got the camera and I started trying to learn how to use it. I put a post up in a Facebook group um, just asking people really um, if anyone had any, had any tattoos by my dad, they'd be willing to let me photograph them and the response to that was really, um, really incredible. I love getting to see his old work and then also getting people's stories and people, people have really vivid memories, you know, they, they, they can remember exactly what he was like when, when he was getting tattooed and things that he said to them when he was, when he was tattooing. And, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a really cathartic experience for me. So I'm going to meet Dean today, who got a couple of tattoos from my dad in the mid to late 90s. We'll start with that in there on your, on your bottom, mate. Now just, just, just turn your arm, kind of naturally, mate. And the with tattoos, that was your man, kind of. I think, I think that from mind right. He was the only tattooist that about that everybody can back in the day, and um, probably three quarters of them do a certain age have got tattoos. Very nice little. Come on, it's if it's something you want to do for your old man, hundred percent. Um, it's something special, eh? And the plan is to kind of collect as many of these as I can, and I'll maybe compile them in a in a zine or a book or something like that. It's been a long time since my dad died, and. I'm still grieving him, I'll be grieving him for the rest of my life. But it's almost like I get to kind of reconnect with my dad through, through people's stories.